Good morning, dear students. Welcome to GC Ordinary Level Questions and Answer by Sir Moses. And today we are going to focus on questions and answer. And the questions that we are going to tackle will fall under the First World War. The question is as follow. What part was played in Cameroon during the First World War by Cameroonians? Why were the Germans, despite their long resistance, finally defeated in 1916? What were the consequences of their defeat on Cameroon? Good. The answer plan, the answer plan of this question is that it's divided into three parts. Candidates are expected to outline the roles played by Cameroonians during the First World War for the first part, reason why Germany was finally defeated despite their long resistance for the second part, the consequences of their defeat on Cameroon for the third part. Introduction of this question. Introduction of this question, right? Good. Take note, dear candidate, for ordinary level, introduction is not compulsory, but as a professional, I have to give you poor introduction. Now, the introduction of the First World War, we're going to take it this way. You can take it this way, a military confrontation, confrontation between the Allied power dominated by Britain, France, and dominated by Britain, France, America, right, against the central power dominated by Germany, Austria, Hungary. The First World War started in Europe in July, 1914, uh, when Austria attacked Serbia as a result of the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. The war was brought to Cameroon by Britain and France. In Cameroon, the Allied forces, Britain, France, and Belgium fought against the Germans. The war ended in Cameroon in 1916 with the defeat of the Germans. My brief introduction. Now I'll go to the, the first part of my question the first part of my question remember requires that we should give out the rules played by cameroonians during the first world war so to begin cameroonian participated during the first world war as fighters they took part in actual fighting on the side of the german as well as on the side of the allied forces Ethnic groups like the Douala Bakuri that resisted German administration fought with the Allied forces against the German. Also, ethnic groups like the Beti and Bali who collaborated with the German supported the Germans against the Allied forces. Good. Now, the second part, the second, uh, the second reason. During the First World War, Cameroonians supplied tropical raw materials that were needed for the war to both the Allied forces and the Germans. These raw materials were palm oil, which, which was used as a lubricant, and rubber, which was needed to make rubber boots. These raw materials could not be extracted from the Far East, but these raw materials were abundant in Cameroon. Cameroonians took part in the First World War as porters. Their ability to transfer or to transport heavy load of heavy load over long distance influenced their recruitment as porters. They were recruited during the war to transport food, water, and other supplies to areas where there were no roads. For example, Cameroonians were recruited in the Middle East to work as porters. During the First World War, Cameroonians were recruited as translators and interpreters. They were recruited by the Allied forces who, knew, who were new in Cameroon. This was because the Allied forces were new in the territory and did not understand the local languages. Thus, they were forced to recruit Cameroonians as translators and as interpreters in order to facilitate communication. Cameroonians were recruited as spies during the First World War in Cameroon. The Allied powers recruited Cameroonians as spies to so spy against the Germans. For example, the defeat of the Germans in Douala was thanks to the Douala fishermen who spied for the Allied and gave them the exact location of German camps in the area. Good. After finishing with this particular part, we are now moving to examine the second part of the question, why the Germans were defeated during, despite their long resistance. First, to begin, the Germans were finally defeated in Cameroon because the Allied power had more troops than them. 
The Anglo-French and Belgian force almost doubled the number of soldiers that the German had. For example, General Charles Dubel, who commanded the West African Expeditionary Force, commanded about 10,000 soldiers together with African warriors drawn from some local ethnic groups. But Colonel Zimmerman, who commanded the German forces, had less than 5,000 men under his control. We move to the next. The defeat of the Germans during the First World War in Cameroon was due to the Allied decision to attack the Germans from all fronts. In the West, the Germans were attacked by British Nigerian forces. In the East, the Germans were attacked by French forces from French Equatorial Africa. From the South, the Belgian forces invaded German Cameroon from, from Congo. And in the West Coast, a joint Anglo-French force attacked the Germans in Douala. This contributed to the defeat of the Germans. The Allied decision to create a combined forces contributed to the defeat of the Germans. At the beginning of the war in Cameroon, the Allied forces under, were under several commanders, but later in 1915, they formed a combined military force called the West African Expeditionary Force under, command, under the commander of General Charles Dubel. The formation of this force helped to coordinate the Allied forces against the Germans, which facilitated their defeat. The Germans were defeated during the First World War in Cameroon due to local support from some ethnic groups. The Allied forces benefited from some local ethnic groups that did not like the Germans. This group had put up a serious resistance against the Germans like the Douala, the Bakuri, and the Bangwa. For example, the Allied defeat of the Germans in Douala was thanks to information they received from Douala Fisher men. The defeat of the Germans in Cameroon during World War I was due to exhaustion and fight fatigue of the Germans. The German army had been seriously involved in the punitive expedition to end native resistance. The German faced many arms confrontation against the native in several parts of the country. Many of the German soldiers, including their best military personnel, lost their lives. Some of these resistance dragged until the outbreak of the First World War. Hence, due to the fatigue, the Germans were easily defeated. Now, after examining the second part, we move now to examine the third part. What were the consequences of the defeat of the Germans on Cameroon? Start with the negative. Negatively, the First World War in Cameroon led to loss of, of human lives. Many Cameroonians who were involved who were involved in the war against as porters, spies, and interpreters, lost their life. Also, those who were not involved in the war equally lost their life. For example, over 6,000 native soldiers and about 10,000 civilians lost their life during the First World War. And thousands of Cameroonians were equally injured. Now, we move now to examine the second part. A lot of property was destroyed in Cameroon as a result of the First World War. Villages were destroyed, rendered villager, villager homeless. Also, railways, roads, bridges, schools, and medical installations were destroyed. For instance, the German were retreating, the German forces were retreating. When they were retreating, they destroyed their medical installation to make things difficult for the British. Besides, many colonial projects in Cameroon were interrupted as a result of the war. The First World War ended in Cameroon with the defeat of the Germans and the partition of Cameroon. When the Germans left Cameroon, Britain and France decided to partition the territory. This led to the division of ethnic groups and put in place territorial boundaries between the two territories, hindering free movement of goods and services between the two countries. As a result of the First World War, Cameroon lost part of its territory to French Equatorial Africa. This territory was called New Cameroon. It was given to the Germans by the French in 1911 in exchange for Morocco. But when the First World War ended with the defeat of the Germans, France took back New Cameroon. Positively, when the First World War ended, the League of Nations was created 
as a result, former German territory in Cameroon, in, in Africa, including Cameroon, became mandate territory and were placed under the supervision of the League of Nations. Cameroon became a, a category B mandate and given, was given to Britain and France to administer under supervision of the League of Nations. Unlike during the German general era when nobody supervised the administration of Cameroon. The First World War put an end to the brutal German administration in Cameroon. At the end of the war, the German left Cameroon, putting an end to German policy of public flogging, forced labor, and seizure of native land. German administration was replaced by British and French administration. Some Cameroonians made a lot of gain as a result of the First World War. Cameroonians who were in the war as fighters, cookers, Potters and laborers made a lot of money after the war as they were compensated for their services. Also, other sold raw materials that were needed for the war, war, like palm oil and rubber, to Europeans at very high price. The First World War in Cameroon led to the resettlement of traditional ruler who were deposed by the Germans. During the German air in Cameroon, the German deposed traditional ruler who refused to cooperate with them. Traditional ruler like Chief Asongani of Fondem, who was deposed and exiled to Gawa and Kivelikini, who, who resisted the German were deposed, were reinstated after the defeat or were installed after the defeat of the Germans. Dear candidate of the ordinary level, here comes the end of this particular question. We were answering roles played by Cameroonia in the war, reason why Germany was defeated during the First World War in Cameroon, and the third part, the consequence of the defeat of the Germans on Cameroon. This was presented to you by Sir Moses.